Hello and welcome to the first tutorial for Make a Flash game. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a folder for your uh, for your game and how to set up your Flash file so you can find things more easily in the future. All right, so let's start off by opening Flash, and then once that's open, go to Create New Action Script 3.0. Alrighty, so let's make a new project and call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Flash uh, Game and then find a empty folder to store it. I'm just going to put it in um, Documents and under Flash Stuff. Where is it? So this will just make it easy to find things in the future. Okay, now we need to create a new um, action script file. Um, this file is going to be our document class. All right, so we get a file, new action script file, and then let's save it in the folder we um, created before, and then create a new folder and call it script, and then save our. Uh, File is main. Now, in order for um, Flash to uh, main Flash file um, to find this new file, we need to type package script, which is the folder we just stored it in, and then public class main because it's called main, and public function main. Alrighty, let's save it. Save. Okay, now let's go to um, Timeline, right-click on the first frame, and click Actions. In order for us to um, use the, the new Flash file, we need to import it to our main Flash file. So let's type um, Import, and then Script, which is the folder we stored it in, and then Main, which is the name of our new class, our new document class. All right, now let's exit that. Go back into our um, main class. Okay, now in order for it to, to test if it's to see if it's working, let's add some text. So first, we need to import flash display, display sprite so that we can see um, objects on the screen, or we'll add them to the to the um, to the stage. And then we need to import import flash text. We also need to make sure main extends sprite so that um, the main class can have the attributes of a sprite and be seen on the stage. Alrighty, so now let's create our text. Um, so we create a new variable called my text of type text box, oh, text field, sorry. Um, and then we make it equal to a new text field. And then we type what, uh, we type my text dot text equals, and then whatever you want it to say. So I'm just writing hello world seems pretty standard and then we add my text to the stage by typing add child my text all right it looks, looks about done so let's press control enter to test it um, and nothing shows up so let's go back into our main flash file and go to actions and in order for it to show up, we also need to add our main class to the stage. So let's first create um, a my main variable of type main, and then add child my main. Now, when we press Control Enter, um, Hello World shows up. Alrighty, let's also. Um, move our text. This is the standard way to move objects by typing mytext.x and mytext.y. 
Um, if it's the same value, we can just put everything on the same line to save space and to make it look a bit tidier. Awesome. So there we go, now it's in the middle. So this tutorial showed you how to um, store your flash files so that they're easily accessible and um, easy to find. Um, in the future you can add to this storage, like add another class and um, it should be pretty easy to find stuff and not get lost. In the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to create and import a movie clip using ActionScript 3.0. Thanks for watching and make sure to like, subscribe and to share this video.